Hello everyone, my name is Sandra Sanchez. I'm recording my Go React for Teach and React Science lesson. This is for ELM 361, Professor Heather uh, Oros. Okay, so class. Over the past couple of weeks, we've been discussing and learning about organisms, specifically plants, and why the habitats they live in are so important. The three habitats that we've learned about are desert, pond, and Joseph, give me another one. Forest. Desert, pond, and forest, okay? So we have desert, pond, and forest, okay? Um, and the three organisms we discussed were also the cactus, the water lily, and there's one more. Aubrey, can you give me one more? A tree. Tree, so we have cactus, water lily, and a tree, okay? Who can tell me besides a cactus uh, what other kind of plant can be found in the desert? Joseph? A Joshua tree. A Joshua tree, okay. There's also another one. It's called brittle, brittle bush. We talked about that a little bit. It looks like a flower. Um, it has petals, but it does survive, unlike other flowers, when in the drier weather and the hot weather. Um, and when you touch the petals, they're very brittle, so those break very easily. That's where they get the name brittle bush from. Is there a specific name for cactuses or are they all named the same? There's one that has a funny name. Do you guys remember? Joseph? Prickly pear cactus. Prickly pear cactus. So that's kind of a funny name. So that's one of the names of a cactus, right? So we'll write it in a different color and we'll write it in here. So we'll say cactus and it is prickly pear, okay? Um, what about types of other trees? What trees live in, live in the forest and why is their habitat important? I'll give you a hint. It starts with pine. Pine tree? Pine tree. <laughs> Joseph, you have all the answers. The forest is important because it keeps cooler temperatures and clean air, okay? So if we had to describe a desert, how would we describe a desert? What would you say something about the desert? We can say something like it's dusty, right? Are deserts dusty, yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, so they're dusty, okay? They're also what? Dry. Dry, very good. Um, are they hot? Is it hot in the desert? Yeah. Mostly, right? Sometimes pretty windy, but for the most part hot. Um, is it fun in the desert? Is it boring? It's dirty. It's dirty? <laughs> dirty. Okay. So what about a forest? How would we describe a forest? What's a forest like? Boring. A forest is boring? Quiet? Okay. What else? Do you think a forest would be hot or cool? Aubrey. Hot. You think a forest would be hot? Trees all around. And it would be hot or cool? Cool. Cool. Okay, so those are just some examples. Okay, so we definitely know about plant organisms and the habitat, which leads me to our next assignment. So everyone will get a worksheet like this. I know it's kind of a small copy. It's supposed to be a full page here, but on this worksheet, it says my plant habitat research. So since we've gone over everything on habitats and organisms, this would be our next assignment, okay? So we pull our information that we've learned already, and we're gonna go ahead and start here. So on this sheet, we have four boxes, and then there's one circle right here in the middle. The circle in the middle is gonna be what habitat you choose. So it's gonna be one of these. It's either gonna be a desert, a pond, or a forest, okay? Whichever one you choose, you're gonna write down that in the middle, okay? You're gonna give some details about it. So in the first box here, it says, I choose to research the habitat because, so why do you choose to research the desert, or the pond, or the forest, okay? 
um, what kind of plants are in your habitat. So besides in the desert, for example, if there's a cactus in the desert, what other types of plants will be in that desert? You're gonna wanna look that up, okay? And those are some of the other things that we've talked about before, which was one of the, the brittle flower, remember? Another one it says, here are words that describe my habitat, which is what we did up here, okay? We said the desert, for example, is hot, dusty, dry, dirty. Um, a forest is quiet and cool, okay? For a pond, you might say something like, um, it's wet, right? It has flowers, maybe there's ducks, maybe there's water moving, maybe there's air bubbles in the water, okay? So those are some things that you're gonna wanna talk about. Um, and then three interesting facts, okay? So on each one of these boxes, with exception to the first one, where I choose to research this habitat because you can just give anywhere from two to three examples and they're just gonna be short little sentences or just one word for the ones that you have to list something on, okay? So on this one, this is what you'll be doing, okay? And in the very end, I want you guys to draw a picture of your habitat. So if your habitat is a pond, draw a picture of a pond and whatever else you think goes in it, but that particular plant also needs to be in there, okay? So. With that being said, this is where um, I will put three minutes on the timer for you guys, for you guys to get your pencils, crayons. Um, you can do your research too. You can pull up information on your Chromebooks if you want to log in, research the information on whatever habitat you're doing so that you can come up with those three facts about your habitat, okay? So once you guys get all of your things, your Chromebook, your crayons, your pencils, um, I want you guys to just sit down quietly. This way I know you're ready. And then you guys can go ahead and start the assignment. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the timer so that you guys can go ahead and begin getting your belongings together. And then we can go ahead and transition into this assignment. Okay, do you guys have any questions? No questions. You know what you're doing? Okay, all right.